The range of things you can do with sports games are virtually endless. You can play the game as it is, you can create players and rosters, or you can just act like a head coach or GM and see what happens. EA Sports focused in on that last part and NFL head coach was born, but did it really need to happen? Hey what's up guys, it's Kofi here and today we're going to be talking about NFL head coach and why did it happen? Now I'm not saying why did it happen as a negative and I'm not saying that it shouldn't have been a thing. The question we're going to ask and diagnose today is did NFL head coach really need to be a separate game for Madden? The first version of NFL head coach released in 2006 and received mostly good reviews. There are a lot of good concepts and ideas in this game. There is a situational playbook you could develop your players and more through practices that weren't just simulations. You had complete control of franchise decisions and there was a draft with Mel Kuyper and you had a war room and all of that. You could talk to the QB and manage your staff. Basically all the office shit that a coach had to do, you could do. However, it's clear that this game wasn't for everyone. The funny thing about this is that this wasn't the first rendition of games where you were only on the sidelines or even the first for EA Sports. There was a series called FIFA Manager, which had a lot of these same concepts. This game was really, really intricate, and I can see why EA felt this need to be a separate game because there was so much you had to do and so much you could possibly do in this game. The game was very time consuming, and I feel like if this version of the game was a part of Madden that this game mode would t sort of be overlooked. Like I understand why EA Sports didn't want this game to take a backseat to Madden, but rather have them in separate cars. I think that one of the biggest challenges for NFL head coach is that it was going to be super hard for Madden fans to just instantly buy into this. I remember seeing this in GameStop as a kid and being like, what the actual hell? Why would I buy this and Madden? As an 11 year old, I used to think that, but over the years, I've kind of realized more and more why this type of game would appeal to someone. So Madden head coach 09 was kind of like the streamlined version of the original head coach game. In the sequel, the choices were a little bit easier to find. However, my thing with Head Coach 09 is that even though the game wasn't as complex as the original Head Coach, and it was also made for you not to get sucked into one decision, there were so many other things and tasks that you had to do. Negotiating, franchise tagging, scouting, drafting, creating plays, creating up a game plan. There was so much to do and you didn't even get to play the actual game. For some people, playing the game after doing all of that behind the scenes tinkering was actually the more satisfying part, but you can't do that in Head Coach 09. There were so many tasks that you felt obligated to do because if you opted not to do them, your approval rating would go down and you'd be heading towards the road to unemployment. And I'm one of those people that likes making those kind of managerial decisions and it was even too much for me over time. The slow loading screens didn't help the cause at all either. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's look at what NFL head coach taught us. In terms of the demographic that Madden attracts, there are people that just like to play the game, people that like to take the role of GM and tinker, and there are people that like to do both. EA Sports tried to reach both of these audiences by giving them two separate games, but they kind of forgot about the people that were in the middle too. There are some people that like to play the games and make those front office decisions. And that's where I think EA Sports made their mistake with this one. I think that EA Sports honestly should have made the second EA head coach just a part of regular Madden 09. I feel like EA kind of knew this too because they sold head coach and Madden 09 in conjunction with each other in a collector's edition. Even if you did buy both games, it was weird to have to switch games for basically a different experience. I think that a better way of ushering in these modes was to make it a part of the game. I mean, we had features in Head Coach 09, but not in Madden 09. And as someone that was kind of in the middle of the spectrum, it, that made it kind of frustrating for me. Even though the Head Coach series has been discontinued, we've seen their influence in the Maddens that came after it and in other game series. <coughs> 2K. <coughs> So that's something. So while the series wasn't sustainable long term, there was still some good that came out of the game. Anyway, that's all for me. Thank you guys for making it to the end of the video. Uh, please subscribe if you're new and uh, feel free to share, comment, uh, like, 
and do all of that good stuff. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Feel free to watch all of my other videos. They're in a playlist called, uh, I think it's called Sports Stuff. So, yeah. Love you guys. Bye.